Oh, Cupid, forgetting Twitch has ads. So, welcome back, everyone. It's Daryl or Marino, and welcome to The Walking Dead Season 3 New Frontier. Um, I don't think I was in tune to the last episode because I don't know, I thought that the third episode more theatrical, more than more than focused on the gameplay aspect, but that's just me. So I didn't really feel immersed in that one. But overall, it was a good episode. I did, it's just more of a personal thing more than like the overall episode not being engaging. I did thoroughly enjoy it. So hopefully, I'll I'll try to be more. Calculating, not calculating, but more thoughtful of my choices. I felt I was just going by what I felt like at the moment. So, with that being said, on to episode four Thicker Than Water. Previously on The Walking Dead. No! You monsters! Clem! Fucking Garcias! Oh. You... you. You shook my goddamn guts out. And you deserved it. Joan was in on it. We did it on her orders. I'm... I'm sorry. It is too late for sorry, you backstabbing shitbag. I'll help you. I'll, I'll tell everyone in Richmond about this. We don't need your help. I'm begging you! <laughs> I'd hold it there, folks. And I'd consider explaining yourselves. I asked you to get Kate and Gabe safe. Not tuck your tail and run. They were our family, David. How could you? Piece of shit! I'll give you family! And let me guess, he gets killed off. Because I know someone got shot. Or there's like a huge gunfight in the church. Damn it. Strike one. I'm out of practice, that's all. Yeah, same here. I haven't held a bat since the league booted me. Well. You got all afternoon to get back in your groove. Oh, yeah. Just holding this thing makes me feel better. You doing okay? Uh, I've been wrestling with something. Hey! Hey, man, you're Javier Garcia, right? The ball player? Can I get your autograph? <laughs> if you could sign my baseball, that would be so awesome. I, I watch you play all the time. Sure thing, kid. Oh, man! Thank you! Who do I make this out to? Oh, no, no. N no names. Band player signatures are worth way more on resale than personalized crap. 
Just your name is fine. D don't date it or anything. Uh, okay. <sighs> <sighs> Hope you like it. Oh, yeah! I might get ten bucks for this. <laughs> Gotta keep those fans happy, big star. Let's get back to baseball. <laughs> oh, God. What just happened? <laughs> It's out of here. Holy cow. You just had to rub it in, didn't you? Does talking like that make you feel better? Yeah. You should try it. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Strike two. Man, knock that shit off. I'm serious. You just talk, talk, talk. It's annoying. Oh, oh, sorry, David. Look, it's cool you're trying to cheer me up. Really? I still can't believe you actually wanted to come here. If I were in your situation, I'd avoid batting cages forever. Well, thanks for bringing me anyway. I needed a distraction. Uh, let's miss it this time. See? We all have off days. Come on, man. Don't start sucking on my account. Next Damn time, it. we go to the shooting range. I don't really shoot. But I do. And I'm good at it. Ow! Fuck! You gotta shut up! Stupid thing. My arm's throbbing. <sighs> Maybe it's time I said goodbye. I remember I showed you how to play this game. Well, let this superstar return the favor. Watch this. Oh my god, the crowd is going wild! I got it. You don't have to rub it in my face. I'm done. David. What the, why is he so salty? David, like? what's wrong? Come back. I came here to reconnect. Instead, you just want to show me up. What's going on? David, I, I don't understand. You don't understand because you only think about yourself. And I'm sick of it. It's been that way for years. You've always been looking out for yourself. You tried to help me. Yeah, let me help you. You really want to help? All right, drive me down to the recruitment office next week. The army? My job sucks. Kate and I fight like cats and dogs. I belong back in the army. I had a purpose there. I had respect. Last time you deployed, you didn't have kids. So, whatever you do now, you gotta put them first. I am putting them first. That's why I have to leave. Things between me and Kate have been going downhill for a while. But if I left, it seemed like that would be best for everyone. I can't keep pretending this is the life I want. Not anymore. <sighs> and mom and dad will worry themselves sick. You didn't see how stressed they got last time you deployed. Life's hard for everybody. You. I'm not gonna lie. If I go, it's gonna be hard on everyone. Kate may need help from time to time. You can help, right? You won't leave her hanging? I need to know that. In my mind. I'll be there for them, since you won't. If you wanna go, she should go. <sighs> Thank you. I really mean it. We good? Yeah, we good. Come on, let's get out of here. Buy you a beer. That lady has been on her phone for quite some time now. Get in there. I let you go on the road, remember? Can't you help us now? Of course I remember. That's why I haven't shot you already. Thanks, I'm helping you. 
Joan's making a huge mistake. No, you made a mistake when you murdered Lonnie. Hey, everybody just take a breath, all right? I was just trying to tell them... And that's your mistake right there. You can't fight everybody. Understand that Joan's not looking for revenge. She just wants order. Cooperation is the name of the game. There's still a way through this, but you've got to let Joan enforce the laws. You do anything she tells you to do, huh? Go along with whatever she says just to keep your place? It's not like that. Joan's got a tough job. She needs all our help to keep this place safe. You boys want to make it out of here. Just relax and trust in the process. After I brought you in, after I saved your asses, this is how you treat me. Betrayal? Lies? It was too risky to stay. I was trying to keep Kate safe. I had a plan for that. You fucked it up. Do you have any understanding of what they're doing to me? I'm being set up. And I don't even want to think about what they'll do when they find Kate. I could have found a way to protect all of you. But now? Now you're all on your own. You gotta still have some friends here, right? I thought Lonnie was a friend. He turned on me. And you shot him. Any friends you haven't killed, haven't killed you yet. It's everyone out for themselves these days. Oh. Joan played you. And that sucks. I get it. But now you've got to stop sulking. And decide what you're going to do about it. I already had a plan and you ignored it. I did the best I could. Can't say I never tried. I have always given 100%. I know, David. No one's tried harder than you. You've never given up on what you believe. Never. The problem is, I don't know what to do now. There's no way out of this. They got us boxed in here, literally. We don't know what they're planning, so we just have to get ready. Take the opportunities as they come. Just like pitches. Right, Javi? Exactly like pitches. Well, you two seem ready for anything. Armed escort? You're that scared to face me? Oh, David. I'm not scared of you. I came here to talk, not fight. You're not gonna be a problem, are you? I just want a calm discussion between us. You've got the guns. You set the terms. I'm glad you're willing to work with me. And people had concerns about me coming here after the way you murdered Lonnie, David. But I know what the real danger here is. And you need to hear about it. Oh. If you know there's trouble out there, just tell us. I'm getting to it. Those raids were unfortunate, but necessary. The real danger was another long winter. I should have been told about this. David, you remember how many friends we lost last year. I couldn't bear to see it happen again. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna call for a gathering in the square. The people deserve to hear a full explanation of your arrest. And then? Then you'll be replaced as head of security. No one's above the law, David. Not even you. I know the laws, Joan. You're the one breaking them. This place could have been something. Something good. And you ruined it. This place needs me to keep it safe. You set me up. Everyone's gonna see through your lies. I did what I had to do to keep the people of Richmond safe. They're going to see that. And they'll also see that the biggest threat to them right now is you. We'll debate all of this in the morning. Right now, David, I need to ask you some questions in private. Bring him with us.
get out of here. No time to rest. <sighs> oh, so we did shoot Lonnie. Oh, wait, I'm still out here. That pipe looks loose. You know, last time I checked, the people we shot were... That doesn't look very sturdy. time since I hit the showers. Oh, and I could use one. Too bad there's no running water in here. Boards come loose. Ugh, nothing useful here. Hmm. I'm not going to get up there from this bench. Can I even get through there? squeeze through there can you like you kind of built so <sighs> that's not gonna work <sighs> locked I'm not getting out through here out there. Kate! I wasn't sure how I was going to find you. Then I heard the glass breaking. You're alive. For now, you escaped the guards. Barely. We gotta get you out of here. Take this. Help me pry these bars off. Uh, shit. Give it a push from your side. Thanks, Kate. Now, give me a hand. Okay, you A1. What's all that noise? It's a herd. They've got this place surrounded. Come on. This way. That's a girl. Please don't just run. Where are you taking me? Eleanor found a place. Gabe's there with the others. 
We've been hiding out there. For as long as we can, anyway. Is Gabe all right? He'd rather be charging in to save David right now. But I convinced him to be cautious. We should probably keep moving. Where are the patrols? Oh, they're around. I had some close calls on my way to find you. Almost got caught. But I got lucky. Thanks for risking it. I took some guts. I owe you my life. It's only fair. Don't worry. I think we're even. All clear. Come on. I saw them take David from the quarantine building. Yeah. How's he doing? I can't be his wife anymore. But he doesn't deserve to be locked away. He feels betrayed by everyone. You, me, his people. I wish it didn't have to be this way. Hold up. I think it's clear. Let's move. Okay, lead the way. They want me more than you. If they spot us, don't be afraid to leave me behind. That's not going to happen. That's Eleanor's place. There's a lot of activity all of a sudden. I don't like this. Come on, let's get inside. What the hell if you don't get inside? I'm sorry. I don't know if I feel like that. That way. 
Hey, buddy. It's good to see you, Avi. Really, your goofy face and everything. It's great to see you, Gabe. I didn't expect to see you again so soon. Yeah, well, things have changed. I just can't do this now. Oh, hey. Uh, hey. Trip, look who's here. Hey, guys. Uh, hey, <clears throat> where have you been? Joan threw me and David in jail, if you can believe it. Great. So you gave these people more reason to hate us. What is going on here in Richmond? You know more about this place than the rest of us. What do we do? Joan lied. She's trying to remove David from power. Told you we couldn't trust him. I want to go save my dad. Right now. He needs our help. We need a plan first. Javi. Make sure it's the way to go. Good. The last time you scrapped the plan and got yourself caught. Fair enough. So we gotta make sure we don't screw this up. Have you guys even looked out the window? Go look for yourself. I don't know if I'm so done with everyone right now. Oh. Holy shit. Javi, even if you did get your brother free, you're not going to be able to go anywhere. Wow. As much as I don't want to be here... You sure are glad we didn't stumble into that on our own? <sighs> Fuck. Yeah. Can you imagine? We dodged a bullet, didn't we? Yeah. I think we got luckier than I even want to think about right now. It seems like we're in danger within this place and without. I, for one, would feel a whole lot safer with a few more guns to protect ourselves. That the smartest move to make right now? That's crazy. We'll need to make sure we can defend ourselves. No matter what we do next, okay? Defend. That's all you're doing? I don't want to risk us losing anybody else. But you don't seem to mind that. I know where there's guns. My dad showed me. There are lots. I can take us. Okay. Sounds like a plan. We'll get back here as soon as we can. Good luck. Come here. Kate, I... Just be careful. Look, Javi, I, I don't know if you heard us, but I think I fucked it up with Eleanor. We can talk on the way. I, about that, I, I don't think I can leave this apartment with things like this between me and her. It's just not right. I know you must have at least heard something. You know what I mean? It happens, especially these days. Don't worry about it. Thanks. Just... Shouldn't have pushed it with her like I did. Wasn't fair. Too much going on already, right? Javi, come on! Just give us a minute, pal. There's I'm so sorry, to go buddy. I just right I don't know what to do. Just follow your heart. That's all any of us have left anymore, right? Thanks, man. Do you? I'll talk it over with Eleanor, and watch over things here. You've got my word. I won't let anything happen to anyone. Thank you. Javi, come on! Good luck. But there is so much going on. It's like, we can't really leave because there's a whole horde out there. But we can't stay because, you know, they're going to kill us. I'll right, give us just a moment. Stay alert.
Okay, I'm back. Be careful. You'll be fine. Okay. This will be great. We got this. Slow down, buddy. I've done this before, Abby. No, you haven't, Gabe. Not really. Some decisions, you make them in a split second, and then have to carry them the rest of your life. You understand? What do you mean, Abby? Just be careful. People aren't muertos. They can shoot at you. I know. Then you know to be quiet and stay hidden. I didn't know whether it's just like a morale, the merciless option, or just for morale reasons. So, we stay hidden and quiet? If we can just slip past quietly, it'll make our job a lot easier. Okay. We don't want to make any noise and attract any attention. Hey. I can go talk to him while you sneak inside. And me, I'll tell him I saw something suspicious. Um, I can do this. No. No. It's too dangerous. We can lure him away some other way. Or find another way in. I, I can do this. Gabe, wait! Oh my god. Hey! Oh hey! I saw something. Show me. See? You gotta trust me more. I know what I'm talking about. It's down here. The guns are through that door. either mm, I'm gonna have to do this the hard way I'm not for all of this noise but so be it <laughs> I don't need him picking up that rifle. Gotta stop that. That's bad. Put these in your bag. We've never done this before. Just you and me. We make a pretty good team, right? The uncle nephew one two punch. <laughs> yeah, we do. Drop it. What the hell are you doing here? 
What are you doing with all that? Trying to help. I know you're pissed at me, but I want to do the right thing. For your brother. For him, for the rest of my family, for everyone. Yeah. yeah. It was a shit thing to do, fucking off on me like that. I know. I... Why didn't you meet me at the stronghold? We had a plan. Oh. I was just trying to keep Kate safe. That was the only thing I was thinking about. Fair enough. I get that. But why should I trust you now? As far as I can tell, you're nothing but trouble. Yeah. We need you. A lot more than you need us, I know, but we need you. That's about the most pathetic plea I've ever heard. <laughs> you're lucky I've got a thing for underdogs. Okay. You know I'm in. And it looks like you could use all the help you can get. Awesome. I gotta grab something else real quick. Meet me by the front at five. Okay. I really hope nothing happens to her. At first I'm a little bit wary. But I really hope, like, she doesn't get killed off or anything. And I'm probably gonna jinx that because she's probably gonna get killed off depending on my choices. Uh, come here. Freeze! What was the point of that? Get away from me! Are you okay? Oh my God. You're not dead yet. I'm so sorry. Jeez, I can't leave you guys alone for two minutes, can I? He's still alive? Yeah. Just passed out. Starting to think siding with you might have not been the best idea. Girl, Toss Sleeping Beauty you. in the closet so nobody sees him. I said, girl, I don't blame you. Let me see that wound. It's really bleeding. You're gonna need that taken care of. Shit. No, it's okay. Lingard and David are close friends. We can count on him to help you. Medical facility is right nearby. It'll be quiet this time of night, too. Okay, but let's be quick. Oh, she's taking a knife. Can they really hit targets over a mile away? Not these, but some models. Javi, it's probably best if Lingard doesn't see these guns. He and David might be tight, but he's still part of <coughs> Richmond's leadership council. I'll keep watch with Ava. Okay. Do any of them have laser sights? Javi, what happened to you? Ran into a little trouble. Wow, that looks like it must have hurt. I just need to get it cleaned up. You surprised me. Thought you were someone else. Who were you expecting? I know this wouldn't exactly look innocent to Joan or David. Is it innocent? Yes, I guess, I think so. I'm mostly here to talk with Lingard about where AJ is now. Anyway, I can't leave Richmond with that herd out there. Something tells me Lingard doesn't care what you're doing. He's been out of it since I got here. He's alive. Poor dumb bastard. That's gonna need more than just cleaning, Javi. I can stitch that for you. I can't promise it'll look great once it heals. It's better than nothing, though. 
All right. Go for it. But if I lose my arm, that's on you. Ha ha. You'll be fine. I've dealt with worse. Huh. Let me see if I can find a needle and thread for that. Clem. Are you okay? I'm fine. I started bleeding. I know, it's a thing. I've traveled with women before, and, and they all had it. Oh. What is it? I mean, like, why is it... I just don't understand. Oh. It means you're growing up. Blossoming into your, you know, like, womanhood. Your body is, is developing, and then things change, but it, it'll be okay. Okay. I can uh, take you back to Kate. She can help you with, uh... Javi, worry about yourself right now. <laughs> we need to find a needle and thread to stitch you up first. Uh, uh, right. <laughs> oh, that's, that's kind of cute and funny. I was like, ah, oh, maybe Kate and Eleanor can tell her about that. Penicillin. Not what I'm looking for. Cody. Hmm. Not much left. It looks like painkillers are in high demand. I wouldn't steal any medicine if I were you. It really doesn't go over well. Yeah, we kind of saw what happened. Let's put that no back. thanks. But let's not do that. Jackpot. Needle and thread. All sterilized and ready to go. <sighs> Just pills. Here we go. Oh, we got her pads. About to say, like, um, did he leak out some tissue? Like, hey, this is just what you're looking for. They help you handle it. Kate will take care of you. I think I remember how to do this. You think? You did it on yourself last season. <sighs> okay, hold still. Try not to breathe. Look, I know I'm probably not the best person to talk to about that stuff before. You weren't that bad. Thanks for, you know, being here. Basically, all this means is you could become a mom, if you wanted. Funny. I already felt like a mom. Even Ava would have to admit, I was a good mom to AJ. Another flashback. Oh, this is a little... Oh, um... Yeah, mom bought me Taco Bell, so... I have these little Dorito chicken nugget things. Whoa there, Clem. It's just me. What the 
killed you one. I'm really glad I found you. Clementine, I know this is hard. I'm so sorry about what happened with AJ. Really, I, I am. What happened wasn't easy for any of us. Tell me he's okay. Please. He's as good as he can be. Which isn't great. Look, it's not much, but... Here. David wanted you to have that. AJ drew it just after you... It calmed him down. This... Thank you. You're welcome. Consider it a peace offering? We care about you. Just try to remember that even if it feels wrong, people can still be trying to do the right thing by you. Listen. It's dangerous out here, and right now, you're hurting. Whatever you do, you can't let what happened get to you. You need to keep a level head. Plan for after that. You're strong, but that won't get you far if you don't know what you're doing. Or where you're headed. Oh, I'll keep fighting. You guys gave me no other choice. It's not time for that anymore, Clem. Your focus has to be on you now. That's all you can do. Oh, I don't know the truth. For me, happened. staying alive has always been about finding people I could trust as much as they trusted me. That's what the new frontier has been. A silver lining. Made me feel worth a damn. Kept me going in the worst of times. You'll find yours. I know you will. Someone or something. They're out there. I used to have Lee. You never mentioned him. He took care of me for a while. Every time I would look at AJ, I could hear him in my head, helping me, guiding me. He's still with you, you know, here. So is AJ. From the first time we met, right here, surrounded by absolute hell, you and AJ were a light in the darkness. Hope for a better world. That's who you are. Promise me you'll never lose that light. Please. It's what makes you special, Clem. It's what keeps the rest of us going. Okay, I promise. You're a tough kid. Don't change. <sighs> I should get back before anyone notices I'm gone. Remember to keep the focus on you now, Clem. And when you need a little extra support, there's an old airfield about 10 or so miles south of here. Prescott. There are good people there. I'm sure they'll help you out. I'll miss having you around, Clem. You're going to be okay. Thanks, Ava. Good luck out there, Clem. I feel bad because I didn't trust her in the second episode and now I realize she's like That's cool what as keeps shit. me going. There's things I have to stay alive to do. <sighs> so, what do you think? I think I'm getting better. Thank God, because uh, you could not sell a shit. I owe you one. Add it to the pile. You coming? I still have to ask Lingard about AJ. <sighs> Hello, Clementine. Javier. Thought you were rotting in a cell with David. Any chance he got out too? 
I hate to think about what Joan might do to him. Despite all her pleasantries, she's a cruel bitch. Joan took him before I got out. I haven't seen him since. That poor bastard. He's... He's not getting out. Guess there's only one sure way to get away from Joan these days. Why do you care if David got out? He deserves what's coming to him. If you think that, you don't know David. I know he's the reason I lost AJ. When AJ recovered, David was the one who stepped up. Took personal responsibility for that kid. You say that like it's a good thing. I really doubt he was a positive influence. David's the reason the kid's better off now than, than he's ever been. You can be as mad as you want about how, about how things panned out. The fact of the matter is, David's been good for AJ, among others. Clem can be the judge of that. She doesn't need to be. As a doctor, I'm telling you, he's in better shape now than when I first saw him. That was because he was sick. He would have stayed sick, too, if I had listened to you, Doctor. I stand by what I said. If David's taken such good care of him, why did he tell me to ask you where AJ is? That's what this is about, then? You... You want to know where the boy is? Um, yeah. What do you want? I... I just want to die. I want you to inject this into me. Hang in there. Tomorrow's another day. I, I can't. When your brother found me, he... He got me to care about everything I'd given up on. My life. Other people. Even this goddamn place. Without him around. I don't want to care anymore. Just tell me where he is! Then you won't have any reason to do it. I want answers. Javi, I have to know. I've been looking for too long. I can't lose him now. Not when I'm this close. I, like, I, I want answers. Like, where is he? I'm sorry, Clem. We can't do this. No, I have to. If you won't, I will. Clem, stop. He's not in his right mind. You can't do this. <laughs> Let go of me. I'm taking the deal. We'll find AJ, just not this way. There is no other way. Where is... You can consider the deal. Oh. No! Javi! How could you? So be it. It's your funeral. Especially now. Now that Jones rounding up all alleged traitors, you better hope she doesn't find you. Hang in there, buddy. Oh, hey. Uh, hi, Clementine. Surprised to see you here. Yeah, I'm right back at you. You all good? Yeah, we're all set. Let's roll. Oh. Mm, good to see you. If you kept him alive, I thought you'd go tell us where he was. But I didn't know it was like if you kill him. Then... <sighs> I 
Ivy, you're back. And Clementine. Thanks for the warm welcome. Just surprised to see you is all. Guys, this is Ava. Oh She's... yeah, I know who she is. She's got a hell of a punch. Nice to meet you. Good to see you, Ava. Oh, hell. You okay? Yeah. It looks worse than it is. Don't worry about it. Kate's lying down in the other room for a bit. I'm all right. One for you, and one for you. I saved this one for you. No, I've already got one. Yeah. Actually, it wouldn't hurt to have another. Thanks. What took you so long? We went to see Dr. Lingard. At night? I'm kind of surprised he was sober. It's gotta be a stressful job. Looking after an entire community? Can't say I approve of the way he blows off steam, though. He was definitely not 100% there. That's for sure. Sounds about right. Why don't you go talk to Kate, okay? Okay. The sun will be rising in a few hours. Jones people know we're holed up here, and they're gonna come looking for us. All of us. Ah, uh, for fuck's sake. Maybe it's not as bad as we think, Father Prayers. And there's no going anywhere with those things blocking our exit. They like me, that has to help somehow. Just because they like you, doesn't mean they're gonna like the rest of us. We're sitting ducks up here. We can't just wait around here to get shot, that's for damn sure. We have to help my dad. Hey, we can do this. Yeah. We've gotten out of tougher jams before, haven't we? I mean, sure. But this is different. We can't just cut and run. Not with the herd out there. Like it or not, we're fucking stuck in Richmond. Now, how the fuck are we going to put the brakes on this thing? Joan and her people are going to be at the square, right? We need to bring the fight to them. We go after Joan, our problems are solved. Great. So, how do we do that? It's a good question. Joan will probably have a full security detail with her. She'll be insulated from us and from anybody in Richmond who doesn't agree with what she's doing. If there are good people left in Richmond who are against what Joan's doing, we need to ask for their help. If we can talk to the people at the trial, present the case to everyone in Richmond, we might not have to do this on our own. We light the match, the people do the rest. After we take Joan out, we're gonna need some way out of this mess. I don't know about the rest of you, I'm not much of a runner. We've got a truck, a big one, that we used to use for walker defense. It's a little busted up, but it's way better than nothing. People are gonna be patrolling these streets looking for us. How far away is this truck? I'll show you. We've been expanding, pushing out further, making the safe zone even bigger. Can't promise you they've cleared all the walkers yet, but that's where the truck's parked. <laughs> I could spit and hit it. We steal that thing? Nothing will be able to stop us. Steal what? Hey. Jesus, Javi, is that blood on your shirt? You said it wasn't that bad. It isn't. <laughs> How the hell did this happen? Oh, you're bleeding right through that bandage. You should have told me as soon as you got in. Things went a little sideways at the end. Gabe got in the way. A guard came after me and he stabbed me in the shoulder. Oh, I thought you guys were gonna be careful out there. Hey. Don't worry about it. It is what it is. Thought you knew what you were doing. You're still alive, aren't you? Eleanor, can you take a look at this? As long as he keeps it clean, it should be okay. Would you guys stop making such a big deal about it? It happened. It's over. Move on already. I'm just trying to make sure he's okay, Gabe. What we need to be talking about is the plan. Oh, I have a bunch of ideas. I want to be the one to go after Dad. Just give me a gun and I'll do whatever. I know the town. I know what Dad's going to be thinking. Hey, 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 slow down, would you? You're getting way ahead of yourself. Who's to say you're even coming along, kid? Are you fucking kidding me? Ugh, this is bullshit! I'm not staying behind. Gabe, take a breath. He's my dad. I'm going. It's going to be dangerous out there. 
And I don't want anyone else getting hurt. If we get to save Dad, then getting hurt is worth it. It's worth dying for. This is more important to me than anyone else. I've got a gun, and I know how to use it. Could you do me a favor and stop showing off for everybody? You're tough, okay? You can handle a lot of shit. You don't have to prove it all the goddamn time. Nobody here is gonna let you be a martyr, Gabe. Your life is precious. Life is precious? Then how come you shot Conrad, huh? Back in the tunnel, when he came after us, he tried to bargain with you. But you thought killing him would be easier. Oh, I forgot all I about that. I saved your life too, in case you didn't remember that part. So what? You shot him. You killed him. What the fuck, Javi? Is she telling the truth? You murdered my friend? What the fuck did you do that for? You looked me in the eyes, man. You let me think the walkers had killed him. You were just fucking lying this whole time? He had a gun on them. If I hadn't killed him, he was gonna shoot Clementine and Gabe. He's telling the truth. When Conrad found out that I used to run with New Frontier, he went crazy. He would have pulled the trigger, no question. I guess we'll never know, right? Because he's not here to tell his side of things. You made sure of that. Looks like you're a pretty fucking dangerous person to be around, Hobby. First you kill my friend, then you get me and my friends on Joan's shit list? I think you need to give us some space, Javi. Fuck that. I don't want to see you ever again. Or maybe I'd be better off with Joan. At least I know she wants to stab me in the back. You get the fuck out and you stay gone, or I can't be held accountable. You feel me? We can take care of ourselves. Hell, we stick around you much longer, you'll probably kill us too. Oh, that Julie. Fuck off. All of you. If you don't think I fucking agonized about it, then you can all go to hell. We better go get that truck. I'll, uh, get my stuff. Then call you on the walkie when I see things getting started in the square. Come with me to get the truck. Gabe and Kate, you guys hang back here. Be ready for anything. Oh. Uh. I see what's going on. You're punishing me because I told everyone what you did, right? Gabe and Kate. Screw that. This shit. I'm going to get the truck. Oh my fucking Gabe, no. You stay behind and keep watch. You proved your fucking point already, Gabe. Now it's time to grow up and help us. Hey, Gabe. Come on. I need you to watch my back on this one. Yeah. Okay. I guess somebody needs to be a lookout. What? Nothing. <laughs> Gabe and I will be fine back here. What do you want, Javi? What's your problem, man? Your attitude back in the apartment and out here. You don't have to say anything. I get it. I screwed up. I shouldn't have said anything about Conrad. I was sick of being pushed aside. I hope you can trust me again. We'll be fine. I'm still kicking myself for not killing the doctor because I didn't know it was that alright. I just, I was just giving what he wanted. Me, of course, it was like if I helped him commit suicide, then he would tell me where AJ is. But the thing is that.
it's gonna be like, oh, I don't know, maybe it's one of those choices in the game where it's like, whatever you do it or not, you won't get what you want. That's how I just keep them alive, then yeah, I'll get answers I want to answer. Be careful. Any more muertos pushing? Those boards won't hold up. Let's just leave that alone. So how do you map this? Or not this, but like... Edge to jeans? Would probably rip this old truck apart in seconds. This looks like one of the areas Richmond is expanding into. This is like, I'm so, I'm so mad about myself for that. You think I already killed off two other people? I would lower the number, there's less people to deal with. This thing looks like it moves too slow for an escape. What's going on? Thanks. For what? Helping out with Gabe. He's having a rough time. Yeah, we all are. I'm just doing what I can. Let's keep looking for that truck. You got it. Guess they'll be using that for construction once they clear this area. Sturdy, but only room for one. There it is. Let's go. What are the chances? I'd say about 50-50. Smart ass. Before more people wake up. What are we gonna do? We can't start the engine. Not without attracting a lot of attention. Kate, you steer. The rest of us are gonna get behind the truck and push. See if we can't get some distance between us and them. Even me after all, huh? I'm just saying. You know, I'm just trying to keep you safe, don't you? Uh, yeah, but mm. but nothing. <laughs> you want to keep doing stuff like this? You gotta learn how to follow directions. Oh, that's what leads. Don't to think those guys time. will be able to hear the engine all the way over here. I put it in neutral. Couldn't find an ignition key in there. Guess you'll have to hotwire it. Try not to shock yourself. 
Shit. I'll need something to strip the wires. They left all their supplies lying around. Bet there'll be some tools out there somewhere. Just try to hurry, okay? I'm so sassy, like, try not to shock yourself. Look at this, a conveniently placed toolbox. there. Keep an eye out while I get it started, okay? I'll check on the guys in the office. Clem and I will look out for walkers. Okay. Here goes. Wire cutters should help with this. Connect the battery to the ignition. Let there be light. The square is a couple of blocks away. This is a good place to wait. Do we have enough gas? Well, I'm not about to turn the engine off again. What now? We wait for Ava to call us on the walkie. So, nothing for us to do but sit and watch the sun come up. Well, I know we've got something important to do. I'm teaching you to play Euchre. <sighs> That's not a real thing. It's a card game. Come on, it's fun. It's nice to be driving around with a couple kids in the back seat again. It really it takes you back, it. doesn't it? Just you and me and Gabe and Mari. Better times. You're right. This is nice. Clem and Mari would if I just close friends. my eyes, we're right back where we were. All of us together. Do what I do. Try to think about the nice stuff. Not everything that happened after. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. That's not even a good rule. Still gotcha. Guess he stopped playing it cool with her. Hmm? Uh, in case you haven't noticed, Gabe's got a little crush on Clementine. He like likes her. You get it? Well, okay, I sort of am. Okay, so I'm gonna deal and you're piling I hope it works out for them. I really do. They're good for each other. I think. I think their first official date will be target practice. Then skinning and eating a wild animal. Ugh, young love. <laughs> it's so normal, you know? Like, as crazy as things get, as terrible and tragic and just plain stupid, there's nothing more wonderfully ordinary as two kids falling for each other. 
Not that they're there yet. But to feel something that intensely for another person, kind of like the best drug there is. Well, one of the best drugs. Hey, the falling in love is the easy part. It's the staying in love part that'll really mess you up. It's unfair, that's all I'm saying. That they're feeling what they're feeling right now, and when that sun gets a little higher, it's right back to the fight. I just wish he could have had a childhood, you know? I wish I could have given him that. Him and Mari, both. They deserved better than this. Better than what got handed to them. That's why we're doing this thing, right? So he can have a better life after everything's said and done? You're right. I know you're right. I hope you know, Javi, having you there with me, right by my side, all this time, that's what made the difference. You're so sure of what you're doing all this for. You didn't run away. You could have. But you didn't. I'm here so I can set an example for people. For Gabe especially. Someone to be proud of. Someone who sticks around. I get it. There's no graceful way to say this, so I'm just gonna say it. I know we've had moments. You and I. And they're always a little hot and a little confusing and maybe some of them haven't meant anything at all. But before whatever happens tomorrow happens, I need you to know whatever this thing is between us, I want to give it a chance. And I know the fact that David is back in our lives now makes this whole thing a little more complicated but do you feel the same way i'd really like to know before things get crazy we might, well be we might not get another chance no pressure or anything all right well maybe i should have stayed quiet let's go for it we gotta try right oh my god really really so are we gonna Okay. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> we're doing this. You do realize we're gonna have to have a weird conversation with David, right? <laughs> it's the right way to play this. He already got the sense I was pulling away. I just want to be able to tell him in person. It'll feel better that way. That would be the stand-up thing to do in this situation. Can I just say how lame doing the stand-up thing is, though? Oh, it's super lame. Javi, it's an execution over here. She's planning to hang David in front of the whole crowd. You've got to get over here, now. Don't bring the truck. If they see it, they'll kill him right away. If you can just get into the square... Shit. We got to get over there. Now. I'm going to hang back here with the truck. Cool. Keep the walkie close by. We'll tell you as soon as we've got David. Are we going to leave with a weapon, though? Good luck. Nothing else from Ava? Nope. And it sounds like a crowd out there. Sounded like Ava got cut off by something. Or somebody. Wish we had some idea of what we're heading into. Like, is the whole plan shot? Or did she just have a little setback? I hate not knowing. I'm getting a little worried about Ava. Something must have gone wrong. Something must have happened. We're not gonna know what went wrong until we actually do this thing. So, let's do it already. You ready? We just have to remember. We're people, not muertos. We're smarter than they are. And we need to act like it. Exactly. We've got to take the time to think things through.
I knew it was gonna be an execution. can't wait for the others, can we? For years now, Richmond has been governed by one simple principle. Strong council, strong community. But, unfortunately, the actions of one of the members of that council, our security expert, David Garcia, have put us all She's in... She's lying to all of you! I'm sorry to have to show you this. Truly, I am. But you all need to see. Just look what he's done. He murdered these men in cold blood. I saw him murder Lonnie with my own eyes. Some of the best men I ever knew cut down in their prime. Is this who we want in charge? Someone this reckless. This cruel? Not if I have anything to do with it. I can't believe this is really happening. She's gonna kill him. She can't do this to him. He's kept him safe. Try to keep your cool. Joan's smart, but we're smarter. We just have to be careful. We can't screw this up, Javi. Javier! I heard you were planning to crash our little party. Why did you come on up here? Show your face to everyone. I'm sure these people would like to hear what you have to say. Don't make me ask twice. Why should I, huh? What are you after? You think I'm trying to pull a fast one on you? She knows we're here now. We might as well. Very interesting conversation with your friend, Eleanor, last night. Isn't that right, Eleanor? We did. She said you were coming here to rally the people against me. Convince them that I was no good for Richmond. Don't know how you thought you were going to pull it off. Considering it's all of us against the three of you. But I guess hope. Springs eternal. If you knew what we were coming here to do, why go ahead with this? Why put a noose around my brother's neck? This community deserves justice, and they're going to get it. One way or the other. Here in Richmond, people who put themselves before the group don't last long. Bring them out. Get away from me. You're making a mistake. Ava! Oh no, they had them this whole time. David wanted to tear this whole place down. He told his people where to find our gun supply, and sure enough, they picked us clean. You really thought you could ride into town and stage a coup? With our own damn weapons? Something like that? I can't just let it go. You've put me in a no-win situation here, so I'm gonna do the same thing to you. Both of them deserve to die for their crimes. However, Javi, I'll let you spare one of them. Just one. No! Hell no! Don't! Don't! Oh, I knew this Not was coming. What they tried to do. You may be guilty of bringing them into this, but they chose to go along with it. If you're gonna punish anyone, it should be me, not them. So ready to sacrifice yourself for others. Don't worry, Javi. I'm not through with you yet. Joan, are you sure about this? We never agreed to killing all these people. It's really up to Javi, isn't it? All eyes are on you. Maybe this will help you make up your mind. Boys? Come on, Javi. Who's it gonna be? Your friend? Or your brother's lieutenant? Oh. Come on! This is fucking stupid! You can't be serious. God damn you, Joe. I mean... The right thing, Javi. How could you do this? 
<laughs> Let Ava live. She's always been loyal. Javi! No! Well, there's the Javi I know. Backstabbing, double-crossing, no good, dirty fucking murder. Such language. But I admire the sacrifice you're making here, Javi. Shoot her. Wait! I said don't shoot Ava! You did, but there's some betrayal. Joan, think about what you're doing. Ava's one of us. You can't fucking do this. Oh, no. This is fucked. I can do anything I want. You brought this on yourself. Do it. Please don't, don't, don't. Wait! <gasps> no! Oh, my God. They really shot her. Oh, God damn it. Now, David, it's your turn. I can't believe this. This isn't how we do things. This is madness. Stop her, Clint. Is this the process you trusted? No. Think about this, Hobby. You know what's gonna happen here. You ready for that? We don't murder in Richmond. We exile. That's how we've always done things. How about you take David and the rest of your people and just get the hell out? Go far away from Richmond, and then whatever you do is up to you. I'm sure the herd outside would like that. She thinks she's sending us out there to die. She's counting on it. Everybody put your guns away. We're gonna handle this peacefully. Don't listen to them, Javi. They're fucking butchers, all of them. Shoot that bitch! Take her out! She deserves it! If you don't do it, I fucking will! Oh, she's gonna pay. Let me out of here! I'll tear her apart! You know what? Is our chaotic? Go to hell, Joan! Right. Okay. Dad needs us. We gotta get out there. David's not thinking right. What's worth more? His revenge or your life? I think you're right. Oh my god, I will try to keep her alive. Oh, 
It's Kate. She's coming for us. Did you promise us you will help Kate with the family that David left? You and 92.4% probably have promised you help Kate. How do you respond to Dr. Lingard's request? You and 50.2% of players refuse to kill Lingard because I want to an answer. I didn't know. I didn't even know what AJ was. I thought it was just, if I just killed him, then I'll never know. 43% assist in Lingard's suicide. Well, I guess I'm not too far off on the other side. Did you tell Kate yet? You have feelings for her. You and 81.1% of players told Kate yet shared her feelings. Who did you try to save at the execution? You and 55.1% of players tried to save Ava. Okay, so I'm I'm not in the, in the minority. I tried to save her because. Trip was like, oh, fuck you guys. I was like, okay, fine, fuck you too. So basically, if I tried to save Trip, then he would end up dying. But then again, I feel like the way that's going to play out, uh, it's going to like season, like in season one, you save one character that even you do save them, they're going to die eventually. I cannot fucking believe that shit. Mad as hell. Did you shoot Joan to take Clint's deal? You and 55.4% of players chose to shoot Joan. I'm surprised she died that easily. Like, she kind of just stood there and took that shit. Like, like pop. But hey, she had Ava killed, and you know what? There you go. Oh my god, Ava. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll tune in next time for, oh, tune in next time for the season finale of The Walking Dead, Walking Dead Game and New Frontier. So, thanks for watching.